101. Let's call this meeting to order. It's the meeting, uh, agenda setting meeting, school board officers, April 25th, being conducted remotely, and it's also being streamed by the county channel. Um, Kathy Robine will not be with us today because she is touring a national park in Costa Rica. <laughs> I, I'm sure it's much more educational and fun than this meeting. So, Angela, it's you and I. Okay. First order of business is approval of the agenda. Mr. Chair, I move that we approve today's agenda. And I'll second that because there's no one else. Uh, all those in favor, aye. 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 If we could stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The media has been properly notified. The next item is, uh, I'm assuming we don't have any public comments. No, sir. Okay. Next item is approval of the April 11th committee meeting minutes. Mr. Chair, I move that we approve the April 11th committee meeting minutes. And I second that. All in favor, aye. Aye. Okay. Let me get down to the business of the day, which is setting the May 3rd board meeting agenda. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Well, we have to change the red section to. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yeah, to May 3rd. May for 3rd. May 3rd. Didn't change that one. Okay. I have five o'clock. I didn't know if you want to start earlier or not. Uh, we misjudged the last one a little bit. Um, I think five o'clock is probably adequate. Um, we are, I think we are going to get some legal advice on the food service management. But so I don't think. I have food. I have foods, so I'll move that to the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my understanding. Is that your understanding, Frank? Yes, it is. Uh, uh, Robin, uh, did you touch with can't, can't hear him. No. Yeah, can't understand you, Frank. Is he still there? Can you? Looks, looks like he is. You're but in and out. Can't hear you. We can, we'll roll on, and then when Frank gets okay. in a better spot, we'll, we, can, we can come back okay. to that. Um, public session. 
Still not good. Still not good. You're still going in and out. And okay, hold on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To, I'm on. I'm connected, but you all can't hear me. Um, we can hear you better. Nick, can you can you hear my my phone? Yeah. Okay, we can hear you better on the phone than you being connected. Okay. So, um, did, did my my question is, uh, well, I, yeah, the first thing is yes to Mr. Strubinger about uh, some legal advice regarding school food service. The second thing is did, did um, Alice talk to you about or give you the information about adult debt and uh, employment matters? Um, I have it on the agenda because we normally have at the first of the month, so I just automatically put it there. Okay. Um, so when I spoke to her today, I asked her if she had anything for, for the meeting and for executive session. And she said no. Uh, I'll, I'll, we can leave it on there for right now, and I'll follow up with her. But okay. there are also an additional four items from operation for executive session. Yes. Okay. So one is uh, built in Island Middle School TMP. The other, the other. Okay, um, so do we think an hour is enough now, Frank? <laughs> do you think an hour is enough? Uh, when I spoke with Robert today, he thought that these would be pretty quick. The school food service may, may require some discussion. Okay. Uh, All right. All right. Yeah. If those. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Good. We'll leave it at five then. Okay. Um, under the Pledge of Allegiance, the B for High Junior ROTC are, is going to come during that time and present colors. So they'll lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. And then the student performance is going to be a video, but that's by Robert Smalls. Okay. Uh, looks like we have quite a bit of celebration. Yes. So Parkers will come and present their check. Um, and then we have the February and March student of the month. And then the other items that we didn't do the first um, of April. Um, do you have chair's report? Um, I don't really have anything. And I should say that I'm, I'm not going to be at this meeting. So Kathy is going to lead it. I mean, I'll be at it via Zoom. Okay. Um, so Kathy is going to lead the meeting because I, I won't be able to drive. So I can't okay. get there. Okay. Committee reports. Um, I know ACE met last week, so I have ACE. And then legislative actually meets the day before. But I put it on the agenda because I've, I figured you want, might be making a report out, particularly since we're coming from, I mean, since you're coming from Columbia as well. I agree on that one. Is Dr. Wads on? No, she's not on. Okay, yes. I agree with that one. She's probably going to wants to give some feedback from Wednesday. Yeah, yeah that is good. Uh, Ingrid's hands up. Yeah, Ingrid. 
operations met and we'll have a report on facility use and a construction update. Um, oh, yes, I forgot, I'm sorry. Got it. And are there going to be action items out of that, Ingrid? Um, Sorry. Yeah, I think we do. We do have to accept the facilities use report as part of an OE. Okay. Right, Robin. We voted on that. Didn't yes. We? Okay. Yes. So I'll I'll put that I'll put that on there. Okay. And that facilities use, is that something that would go down under the consent agenda or is that? Um, well, I guess that would be up to you. It's, it's a monitoring report. Um, and I don't know how we've been doing that because we did all the OEs, the superintendent's interpretation, and we've done some of like the FOIA OEs uh, because there's not much information. We had a pretty good discussion about facilities use. So, all I'm right. not sure when it goes to consent and when it should come to the full board. Yeah, well, if you, if you had a, um, a robust discussion, it should Yeah, there were some things that, that came up, but, um, you know, well, I, I, I'm yeah. torn on it. Yeah. Yeah, There's a recommended motion. There is a recommended motion, I mean, to accept the, the OE. So once I get the motion, I'll put it on there. I just didn't do it, okay. but I didn't know to put it under consent or under committee report. Yeah. I guess, let, tell me what you guys think is the best way to do it. Because I can still report on the discussion if we want to. No, it has to have a motion. The motion can't go on consent agenda. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah, we, we should leave it here. If there's a robust discussion, then it should always come to the full board, I think. Yeah, because the consent, yeah, consent agenda is for stuff that there's really no discussion. That's how I see it. I do think it'd be good to define that criteria a little bit going forward, just in case. But that's another topic. Okay. Uh, well, the superintendent's report looks pretty sparse. Um, Frank, the superintendent's report is the gifted and talented and. So, Robin, can you hear me? I can. Okay. So, the, the superintendent's report is a uh, uh, expenditure. Now, Rubicon update. Okay. Okay. Okay, I only heard the Got it. Okay, Rubicon updates the only thing. Okay. I guess we'll cross that when we get to it. Um, Okay, nothing under other matters. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, under board business action, we have a request to revisit the motion to table the impact fee discussion. So, what did I say? Revisit motion to table. <laughs> yeah. Revisit motion to table impact fee discussion. Mr. Smith has his hand up, Mr. Sturminger. Okay. Is 
Okay, that's good. Yes, Mr. Smith. Uh, uh, question. In regard to the uh, uh, other matters of uh, update, uh, uh, we, we can't talk, hear you. Uh, update the community on the 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 Eagles, the Eagles of Beaver High School, and also the colors. And I believe that Dr. Rodriguez. I believe that Dr. Rodriguez also spoke to the students in regarding the an update on the Beaver High School Eagle and mascot. Uh, I believe we do have an update on that. Well, I guess we should ask Frank if he yeah. has any update to give. Hello, Frank. Frank, can you hear? So, Frank, is there anything to update on on that issue? I yes. Did you all hear? Did you hear him, David? No, I didn't hear uh, he him. said he. Did. He said he didn't have anything to update at this juncture. The, uh, the class is going to be attending um, the, a policy committee meeting once the policy committee meeting has been scheduled. Okay. All right. Williams, well, I, mean, I, 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 I thought you, you told me that. I thought you told me that you spoke with the student. Rodriguez and and that you have nothing to bring to the board on, on what you on what you got from the students. I'm sorry, I couldn't understand. That last conversation. I couldn't understand anything you said. Well, <laughs> I, I, I think he's that, I thought, okay. Mr. Smith, let me help you out because I think I heard what you and said. And he said that the, la that the last time we talked that he spoke to students. Uh, component uh, that I was hoping to try to get squared away between that and any time I opened the door. And so we're still sort of waiting on that part. But if I, if I talk to you about my meeting with students, I can tell you that I met with students. Um, I'm not sure that's the kind of update that, you know, uh, that's, I'm not sure how. He said that he, if you wanted him to update about the students, he can tell you that he, uh, he met with the students, but he doesn't have anything else other than to update, other than he met with the students, so... If you if you want him to say what the conversation was, then that's an update. But he doesn't have anything else to update. Correct. Correct. Right. Okay. William, we can't hear anything you're saying. You can't hear that I'm saying? We can't hear anything that you're saying. Hello? Are you there? All right, this, this is agonizing. Um, yes, I'm going to suggest that send an, email, send an email so we can understand, understand what you're saying. We can still change this agenda. Um, just send an email. And I would say this to Frank. We can't understand what Frank's saying. 
he can certainly send an email and then we'll we'll know what's going on because this is just awful trying to yeah trying to guess what's being said i don't want to misunderstand because of the technical difficulties so let's send emails okay and we have uh, the consent agenda so i have to, um um under oh. Board business. So Tanya has the proposed general fund budget and employee compensation. Okay. All right. That looks complete, except for, as we always do, review the loose ends. Um, hold on. In chat. Um, Moon landings in the 60s had better communication, Houston. Oh, that's Ingrid. <laughs> it was a long time that this is absolutely agonizing to try and put Dr. Roderick, <laughs> William Smith, and can't hear either of them. So I'm just saying it's reminiscent of 1960s moon landing. Well, actually, I don't think it's my phone. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, yeah. My, my question was, he, he told me that he had talked to some students and that there was an update uh, the, the last time we talked. And, and he was supposed to bring that back before the board. And then the next thing I heard was that the the uh, policy committee said that they were that they were talking about it. So I'm not sure when we said oh who how, who went where when why and how the policy committee got this all of a sudden. So I was waiting for him for his update to come before the board. Frank, did you hear him? Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll be happy to give the board an update. I mean, it, there's there's really not much more to say in terms of people. You know, people are looking for a solution, right? Mm -hmm. And and there's one solution that they want, you know. And and short of that, uh, uh, you know, we're not we're not there. You know, where we are is just that I spoke to students. So I, I, if that's what you want me to say, that I spoke to students, I'll be happy to say that I spoke to students. Uh, but, you know, I'm happy to do that. Right. Good to hear you. All right, that's the update then. Uh, so we'll put it under other matters. And should we say, yeah, update on meeting with students. Regarding on logo, I guess everybody will know what that means, right? Thank you. Thank you. Is that it? It looks like it to me. Is that okay with you, Angel? Yes. Is that okay with you, Frank? It's your report. Yes, that's fine. Okay. All right, now let's get to the loose ends. Um, let's see. Don't have your topics. Um, update on any blanket Eastman in the district was that sent out by email? I didn't get anything. Okay. I could follow up with Robert. He, I think his staff was preparing that. Okay. We don't really have any, everything else either goes to a committee or goes to a work session. Except for 
Earl's follow up and the easement. Mr. Strebinger, I would like to add something to this list and I don't know where it would fall. We, I don't know if you received it, you probably did, but um, Kelly McMahon sent everyone an email about the amount of hours that teachers work daily and what they are and are not being compensated for. And I, th I would like to have some clarification on that. So what is that teacher? So, so I guess hourly pay, what is, how many hours are teachers paid for daily? And what are the mandatory working hours? Those are the two things that I received from her email. Because according to her email and her research, she says that um, teachers are paid for seven and a half hours a day, but they actually work more than that because they have to come in early for duties and then they have to, they leave after students for duties um, and their lunches tend to sometimes be encumbered. We are, we, we're well aware of that, but I just need some clarification. I know I would like some clarification. I just looked at it and said, well, you know, exempt employees are, aren't, aren't paid overtime. Ms. Boatwright? I have a similar question that I was going to send out an email for the operations committee, because to me, the staff recruitment and retention plan is really two big bites, right? And there's a lot of stuff that I don't understand that people have been bringing to me, like uh, pay formulas and all of these different things. So if you want to include that in sort of this big umbrella thing that I think operations committee is going to take on or make it a separate um, action item at a board meeting me, it's fine. Either way is fine. I just was going to suggest I had a very similar thought about, you know, how we calculate all these different amounts as part of the retention plan. So do you all? Good fit, but Angela, it's, this is your issue. What do you think? I think she should add it because it all <laughs> revolves around teacher pay. So this goes to operations or to the full board? I think that's, does operations want to tackle that, Ingrid? Well, what I was going to put in, because I had a similar thing where someone has been showing me how we calculate like hourly hours and whatnot. And in my opinion, it's not super transparent, kind of how that all works and it causes a lot of um, consternation. So I was going to kind of put that in a holistic look at retention plan but it could get lost in a bigger picture if you want to like spotlight it. So we can put it in and I'll include you in the email of things, I think questions I'd like HR to kind of um, answer and sort of things I'd like for them to bring um, under the staff recruitment and retention plan. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to spotlight it specifically and carve it out, either way is fine with me. But I share some of your sort of like, I'd like to know how that works. Yes. I know. I think that should fall under that umbrella. So when HR comes back, they can bring it all at the same time. Well, I will include you on the emails um, with operations committee and every, I'll, I'll include the whole board so that everyone can kind of bring if they have issues they want to look at holistically. Okay. Thank you. Just, uh, just uh, 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 another thought. I mean, you can throw it all in there and look at it and all of that, but you know, what that email pointed out, right. There's a specific mechanism for them to bring that information forward as a complaint or as a grievance or as an issue to the HR department, right? Mm -hmm. So that we can look at it and deal with, right? Because that may just be a specific case, right? That may not be in a bunch of different places. So that's new information. Thank you for clarifying that because that's where the question, I think that's a part of the question too. How, how do they grieve this? I mean, if there is an issue that they, that she is having, right, mm -hmm. then, then that particular issue, right, there's a mechanism for her to bring that forward, right? And, mm -hmm. and that's kind of where it should be handled. I, I, it's my, my, my thought is to be dealt with and handled uh, through the administrative processes for, for those things. But I, I, kind of I think you guys want to get into a, into a situation where you're going to be hearing all these things uh, and, and then you become, in a sense, sort of the grievance department. 
Okay. Who, who's going to tell this um, teacher that, that, that she should pursue that? I'll be happy to reach out to her. I know exactly who it is, and I'll be happy to reach out. Because one of the things that I think we need clarifi clarification around is, is this just at her school? That, that, that is she something that she personally is experiencing? Or, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So. All right. So you're going to. Uh, uh, I have a, qu I have a question. Al Campbell. Can I yeah. Um, I, I agree with Frank. That's primarily it's a, it's a building uh, climate culture thing. And you're talking about, about workouts. You just uh, are salaried. And the, and the work hours, especially for the certified compensated uh, individuals, is kind of irrelevant in terms of how many hours they're supposed to do a day, and et cetera, et cetera, because it does depend on, on you know, what the teacher deems as a work day. If there are certain things that are in the window of that certified staff member, and I don't see how you can break it down to hourly stuff and be fair with everyone involved. And that's not our purview. I think that does belong to Frank and the HR department and the, the specific uh, building administrators in terms of how many hours, what's the climate and how many extra hours individuals are asked to work. And if they're asked to do something above and beyond, are they compensated for it? If that's the question, then fine. You know, uh, it's general we can get a report on that. But other than that, you dive into every little individual situation and we'd be bogged down forever, you know, trying to, to dig deep into what's happening from Frank's standpoint. I don't want to get involved in that. Okay. Mr. Earl Campbell? You're muted, girl. You're still muted, Earl. Okay. I don't think. Mm -mm. Okay, we will go to Miss Ingrid Boatwright and come back to Earl. Um. And I, I don't mean to speak for Angela at all. So I'm speaking just for me. My interpretation is not to adjudicate an individual complaint through the board, but as a board member, um, I can tell you, I, there's a lot I don't understand about how this works. So I was looking at it more, you know, having HR come and explain how some of these things, and I'm not sure, I kind of remember reading this email, um, but I don't see it as dealing with a specific complaint, but understanding from HR, what is the process and how it works. And if we get another you know, email from someone will be better informed because I, I just feel a little bit lost sometimes when people talk to me about HR issues. So I'm looking at like a third for my committee's thing, looking at like a 30,000 foot view of how the process works. And I agree with you, Ingrid, just, and I also agree with Mr. Campbell. Um, we need, I personally need clarification because I'm far removed from the classroom and the HR stuff. So if we can get some clarification on how it works from HR, then maybe that'll help out whatever situation is going on. Right. But I just want one thing jumped out of what you said, Ingrid. We would never respond um, explaining an HR issue. I, I think we always should send that to HR. Well, that's why it was confusing to me when it was like, well, there's a process for that, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. I didn't know that, which is fine. But that's why I just want to understand how HR works because we get a fair amount of HR questions and concerns from people. And so having a better, and I'll tell you what, I've done a little bit of poking around, you know, a lot of HR school districts have more information publicly available. So it's just harder to find out what the proper process is. Exactly. I, did, I definitely do agree with her on that. And, not your turn. It, okay, it's not well, your hand, turn yet. Okay. Well, my hand is raised. I, I know that. Okay. Are you done? Are you done, Ingrid? Because what you just said is a whole different issue than what's on this on this third sheet. Well, and I'm hoping is what I offered to um, Middleton was to fold an example of a situation that the board may not understand into the um, the thirty thousand degree view 
understanding that I'm hoping to glean from HR about some of these issues. It was just a place to put it uh, as part of a larger discussion. Okay. Mr. Smith. And I definitely do agree with Mrs. Ingrid because the fact that we do represent the people and people call us when they, when they have been given uh, situations to certain problems <laughs> and they're not understanding it or we're telling them that, yeah, we are proving something as a board and then they say, well, that why I'm not being, I don't feel that I'm getting compensated or, or I don't understand the process or what have you really done because my paycheck or my pay does not reflect what you're, what y'all are saying as a board publicly. So I think that the more that I don't see a problem with having these conversations because for them, it's not that I, like some people say, or to be dealing with these, with HR issues is more of clarification and understanding and, and processing it. Because a lot of people themselves don't know the process, and as a board, <coughs> some or not, we should understand the process. Understanding the process is not a problem, and I think that, that there's too many times where we say, "Oh, well, we don't want the board uh, knowing that." Well, the board should know the process and understand the process because when people come to us, it, we should we should be informative enough to tell them what the process <coughs> is. Because how can we redirect them through the process if we don't know the process? And so some of these some of these situations are say are similar situations that are given to different board members or to, to some of the same board members. And if we understand the process more, then we can we can we can better more serve our community. So I, I, I do see this as a <laughs> issue. And I think that we should be handling these things. And, to, and, and, and and when I say handling, we should be learning how to redirect or how to tell people exactly what what the process is. <clears throat> Who, what, where, when, why, and how. Uh, Mr. Strubinger, I have I, it may not be my turn. I do have my hand up because I, I I do have an interest in responding to to it, so I can do it later or no, uh, at your go ahead. go ahead. So again, you know, I think one of the points I'm trying to make is that uh, you understanding the process is fine, but but you know, you explaining the process to employees of the system may not be in the best interest, right? Because, because there, there may be nuances with individual cases. And so it's, it's better when they have an HR issue or HR question to refer them to the HR department and let the HR department handle it. Because otherwise, you can find yourself in a situation where the HR department is now trying to handle something. And what they hear back is, well, the board member told me to do this. And this is the process. And the board member told me. And you may, you, you know, there's a lot that goes on. You, you, you may understand the process in, in general terms. Getting down to the nitty gritty and specifics of the process is, is oftentimes in those details where, where the challenges might be. So that's all. Rob Campbell. Um, yes, I, I agree with what Dr. Rodriguez said. And if we're going to discuss this, I hope we do it at a work session. Let, let Mrs. Um, Walton come in and explain the whole thing because you, you are not going to really, you don't really, as a board member, you don't really understand the system, period. You know, and a lot of times when people give you information, it's not correct information. You know, thank you. Uh, I hear what they're saying, but I think that this is the, uh, as Ms. Boatwright outlined that there are other districts where this information is <laughs> has been more clear, more clearly written, and information has been able to access upon websites and upon different different things where they can find out. I think that is something that this is possibly a conversation that needs to take place um, at some point in time and very soon and possibly in an executive session. Um, that's, I mean, that's just uh, where, where, I, where I'm at because um, I, I see exactly um, what, 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 what was both right now and, 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 and I see what both, what both I see from I'm listening to both sides of it but at the end of the day, it's easier said when the ball is not in your court. I mean, or, 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 or it's easier for different people to handle. So, thank you. 
and as a board member, some of us board members have been in the system. So correction, some of us do know the process and some of us have been on the other side of, on the other side of it. So, you know, like, like Mr. the stadium, Mr. Campbell May was, that was inaccurate. Some of us do know. Some of us have been district employees. Thank so you. if you know the process, Will, then we don't have to explain the process, do we? Uh, well, well, the process is not, might not always be the same, Mr. Scribbage, unfortunately. Okay. I'll leave it there. Yeah. There's a whole different issue that came up, which is transparency of HR rules and regs. And I think that's appropriate for the operations committee. So we just need to change that. Take that out. Well, I mean, that's what I was suggesting. Because I, I, hear, I hear an issue coming up about transparency of HR rules and regs. And I think that's a valid thing for the operations committee to deal with. Um, but that's not that's not this issue. And I agree with Frank, by the way, that we don't want to muck around too much. We, but we need to tell people how to get an answer to their questions. But we don't need to answer it because we don't know enough. Um, and we can we could screw things up and, and even have some legal liability. Mm -hmm. So transparency of HR regulations. And how the teachers report their issues. Right. So, so. Uh, if we could reword that and that would satisfy what you're looking for, Angela. Yes. I, yes. I, I think that's a valid thing um, for the operations committee to attack. Transparency of HR rules and regulations. Yes, ma'am. I'll do my best. The operations committee will take this charge uh -huh. and honor it. There, there was a little, Angela, you wanted something in addition to that. Well, yes, and how do teachers um, report if they have an issue? Is that it? Yes, ma'am. I think so. Is that it, Angela? This is yours. Yes. Thank okay. you. Okay. And we can put Angela's name over on the right side there. Yeah, I'll take on it. And not to speak out of turn, but there's already staff retention plans already in there. It's the staff recruitment oh. and retention plan. So you can just delete the whole regular. Okay. Or you want to check it like it's done. If that makes you feel better, that's fine with me too. <laughs> okay. Right up there. Got it. All right. Okay. Did we close any of these out? The ones that were closed out, I took them off the... Um, okay. I thought we closed some of them. Okay. Okay. Great. What have we not? The policy for public comments is going to. Um, it went to policy, and that's still in policy. It's coming back, so that's not finished. We haven't finished or brought anything back to the board with that yet. So, okay. all right, then uh, I think we're done with uh, with our loose ends list. And I think we're done with the agenda. So I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Is that it? I think so. Looks like is it? Is it Rubicon? Yeah. Is it is is there an R after the B in Rubicon? I think it's tell me how to spell it. I think it's R U B I C O N. Take the R out. Got it. Rubicon, got it. Yes. And that was good. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. We're adjourned. Thank you. Have a good one. Goodbye.